Gina's Kitchen. I'm Nikita Gupta. You guys might think that Italian food is hard to make, but today we're going to be making a nice, with little effort dish, eggplant parmesan. Now, in order to make this eggplant parmesan, we need to make a tomato sauce. So, come over. Here, I have a heated saucepan, and in this, we're going to put olive oil. So coat the bottom of the saucepan with olive oil. Then, we're going to add onions. Make sure you hear that sizzle. Stir the onions. Now in here, I have about one fourth cup of olive oil. You just need olive oil to slightly fry the onion. Now after a minute or two, add those four cloves of garlic mixed. Now keep cooking while stirring constantly until golden brown. Now after about a couple of minutes till the onion and garlic have turned brown, it's time to add thyme. Now here I have one tablespoon of dry thyme. Or you could use three tablespoons of chopped fresh thyme leaves. Put the thyme in and stir. After it is cooked for about a couple of minutes, it's time to add the tomatoes. Here I have a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Now pour in slowly. And cook on high heat. Now stir and put a little bit of salt to taste. What I love about this is that it's a homemade tomato sauce. Instead of buying it from the market, it's great to make it at home. And plus we can add much more flavor and much more great taste to it. Stir for a while and now cover it up and simmer for about 20 minutes. Put it on medium heat. Stir the tomato sauce occasionally so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the saucepan. Now to prepare the, before I prepare the eggplant, I'm going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. I have two eggplants, and we're going to cut these into discs. So start off by taking off the front and cut into round discs. Now here, I cut one eggplant into disc shapes, and I'm going to coat a bottom, the bottom of a cookie sheet with nonstick aluminum foil with a little bit of olive oil. Place your disc. I'm baking the eggplant, which is way better than frying it. Most eggplant and parmesan recipes fry the eggplant. This is a healthy alternative. Now, when the eggplant's on the cookie sheet, coat with more olive oil. And on top, season with salt. And black pepper. Now we're going to place this in the 450 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they have turned to a deep brown on the top. And stir the sauce. And once it's become thick, then it's done. Turn off the heat and leave it there. Now we're going to start to make our layers for the eggplant parmesan. Now we're going to grate mozzarella cheese. This is whole milk mozzarella cheese which we can get from the grocery store. So just grate the whole thing. This is a 16 ounce cube of mozzarella cheese. This cheese is amazing. You can also buy grated mozzarella cheese if you don't want to grate it yourself. But I like grating it. Now here is the whole 16 ounce cube of grated mozzarella. 
This is a lot of work. You need a lot of arm muscle to grate that whole cheese. Now, if you don't want to do the work, then just buy, go ahead, just buy a tub of grated mozzarella cheese from the grocery store. Now, after the eggplant has turned to a brown color, it's time to assemble the eggplant parmesan. When you take out the eggplant from the oven, lower the heat to 350 degrees. Now we're going to assemble it. Here's the baking pan, and on the bottom, coat with a little bit of olive oil. Pour a little bit of the sauce. Just spread a little bit on the bottom to coat evenly. Now, take your eggplant. Next, put more sauce. The mozzarella cheese. And sprinkle some basil on top. Now repeat this, repeat these layers until your pan is filled and all the eggplant has been used. Keep on layering it with your cheese, sauce, and eggplant. and basil. This is dried basil. You can definitely use fresh basil too. Basil. And now you're going to top it with one fourth cup of Italian style bread. Take your breadcrumbs, coat it on the top. And here I have grated Parmesan cheese and sprinkle a little bit of that too. And just put a little bit of salt and some pepper. We're going to bake this for 20 to 25 minutes until the cheese has melted. And this is, we're baking at 350 degrees. Now the cheese has melted and the eggplant parmesan is ready. The cheese, everything, all the flavors, yum. Delicious. And this Italian dish, which was made with little effort, Turned out to be amazing. Now you can impress anyone. Enjoy!